Hi, I'm Nathan from FTC Team 4717, and welcome to the third episode of our Onshape Assemblies series. In today's episode, we will be going over how to use the slider mate. So to start off with, I'm going to go down to this plus button, and once again create a new assembly. Once this assembly loads, I'm going to go up to insert, and I'm going to add in my new parts. But this time, I'm going to do it a little bit differently than I have in previous tutorials by going up here and clicking Other Documents. And you can see that it gives you a couple more options, including your teams, recently opened, and your on shape. For now, I'm going to go into recently opened because it's the quickest way to get to the parts that I want to use. So I'm going to click on this slider piece and drag it out to set that in there. Then I'm going to press back and add this linear bearing rail. So for this part, I have to add a length, which I'm going to set as 10. Then I can press enter and click and drop this in just as usual. So the first thing that I'm going to do is right click and click fix so that I can no longer move this around. Then we can go ahead and add our slider mate onto this rail. So I'm going to go up here to the slider mate, which is right next to the revolute mate, which we covered in our previous tutorial. And once I click that, it'll allow me to add mate connectors, just like all of the other mates. So the way that the slider mate works is it'll constrain one of your pieces to move along the other one in only one direction. So this green piece is my slider, and I'm going to have it move along this rail, and it will move in this direction. And so I will be able to drag it in that direction, but I can't move it in any other way. So what I'm going to do to add this mate connector is I want this blue line right here, which is the Z axis of the mate connector to be pointing in the direction that my slider will move. Um, so I want it to be on this face. If I hover over this face, it'll go in the right direction. Then I'm going to move it up to this point right here and click to set that mate connector. Then I'm going to do the same thing on my green slider piece by hovering over this face and going down to this point. You'll see that it snaps onto there, and I can press my green check mark to confirm. So now, if I try to drag this, you'll see that it moves along the rail, and I can't move it in any other direction. But you may also notice that it can go outside of the rail. It doesn't stop at the end, so I can go completely off, and I want it to stop at the end just so we don't have it coming off of the rail. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to press Control Z to bring it back to its original position. Then I'm going to double click on this slider mate to open up its options. So the first thing that you'll see is this offset button, which allows you to create an offset in the X and Y directions, as well as it allows you to rotate around these axes. For now, I'm going to leave that alone. I don't find that to be super useful in most situations, so I'm just going to uncheck that. Uh, then I'm going to check limits, and you can see that it opens up this option box. So in the minimum section, I'm going to put a zero because the minimum should be at the starting position. Then I'm going to add my maximum, which I want to be the length of this rail minus the length of this slider. And actually to do this, you'll have to X out of this and find the measurements of both your pieces. So I know that my rail is 10 inches because I set that previously, but I need to find the length of this green slider. So I'm going to measure by clicking on these faces. And it'll give me the parallel distance. And I'm just going to click on that and then press Control C to copy that. Then I'm going to once again double click on the slider mate, add my limits, put my minimum as zero. Then for my maximum, I'll put the total length of the rail, which is 10 minus the length of the slider, which I found to be uh, that number that I just pasted in there. Then I'll press enter, and I can press the check mark now, and when I drag this around, it won't come off of that rail. So you can see it stops at the end no matter how far I drag it. And there is your complete slider mate. That's it for this episode, so thanks for watching, and see you next time.